legendary Japanese warriors, samurai, to this day walk along the streets like any ordinary citizen. Tetsuro Shimaguchi is one of the most famous modern samurai in Japan. It was he who came up with the idea of how to preserve and revitalize martial arts in the 21st century. In 1998, I decided to create a new kind of performance. Came up with the idea to combine the concepts of samurai combat and theatrical art. This is precisely how the ensemble Kamui appeared on the scene. In our shows, we refer first of all to the experience of the martial arts Kenjutsu, which preceded the arts of Kendo, Karate and Aikido. So we created our own unique style. In addition to that, since this is primarily a visual show, we turned to the acting tradition of the Japanese Kabuki theater. Before the creation of Kamui, Martial arts could be seen only in the performances of athletes during competitions and accordingly the performances on a samurai theme, only in the theater. At the same time, communication with the audience is very important because the main task of our performances is communication. Our art is called Kengido, where Ken means the art of owning weapons and martial arts techniques. While Gi is a hieroglyph that forms the word Kabuki. Therefore, we emphasize connection with the history of theater development in Japan. Do is the way of knowing art and its philosophy. I'm the founder of the group, and this is reflected in the second part of my belt. The color of the belt also has meaning. Many know that the owner of the black belt, Budo, martial art, is the highest master. In fact, after the black belt, there is the red belt, and I'm a bearer of such a prestigious belt. Samurai was founded in Japan in the 7th century. The greatest development was during the reign of the Tokugawa shoguns in Japan. The samurai was guided by a special code of conduct of Bushido. It is based on the principles of Buddhism and Shinto, as well as the teachings of Confucius. I respect the samurai code, and in my usual life I try to adhere to it. I want to live life according to these rules. I believe the main element in the code is absolute respect and respect for elders, as well as the desire to protect and help others. These concepts are very important to me in my daily life. Since I found my way to the samurai, I teach Kengido to others who have such a desire, including children. In doing so, I try to show them the same respect and attention as I do to the older students. 
I treat each of the children as a person who has their own personal views and feelings. Children feel false, so I always try to be honest with them. I must say, working with children, I not only teach them, but I myself also learn a lot from them in return. Traditionally, samurai were men, and Japanese women were content with the role of the keeper of the hearth. However, there are examples when women also fought in wars. Their weapon was the Naginata special spear. In the Kamui ensemble, one of the main roles was given to a fragile girl, also known as a fei. For many of us, the image of the samurai is associated with men. However, I was always attracted to martial arts and, most importantly, its philosophy. I carefully preserve the principles of Bushido in my soul. I'm very glad that we can recall the culture of the samurai with the help of our ensembles. Group leader Tetsuro Shimaguchi also became famous in Hollywood. It was he who became one of the directors of the fighting scenes of Quentin Tarantino's famous blockbuster film Kill Bill and even played one of the secondary roles in the movie. At first we played in the streets of different cities. Once our performance in Los Angeles was seen by the director Quentin Tarantino, who was accidentally passing by. So that was how we met. The second time I met Quentin in Japan. Then he was preparing for the shooting of the film Kill Bill and conducted a casting in my country. When we met, he shared with me the idea of including in his movie scenes of samurai battles with a katana. At first, we decided that I would train actors in stage combat scenes in the movie. But after a few days, Quentin changed his mind and invited me to play a role in his film. It was an unforgettable experience. I met such Hollywood legends as Samuel Jackson and Uma Thurman. To this very day, we maintain friendly and close contact. I was very pleased that such famous Hollywood celebrities reacted with interest and attention to the culture of Japan and the samurai tradition in general. They highly appreciated our performances, and I promise to continue my work as a director and performer of samurai battles on stage. The success of the film Kill Bill brought Shimaguchi and his ensemble world fame. They were welcomed in different parts of the world, from the Kennedy Center in Washington to the Old Palace in Florence. After screening of the film Kill Bill, we were invited to different parts of the world. I visited many countries, we performed in Dubai, Mozambique and Canada. Each performance I hold close to my heart, 
because it was, first of all, an unforgettable meeting with famous people. This time I was invited to Kiev. I'm very glad that Ukrainians are interested in Japanese culture. It's truly a great honor for me to perform here in this wonderful capital of Ukraine. Shimaguchi visited Kiev during the days of Japan in Ukraine, which were supported by the Japanese embassy. As it turned out, the samurai code does not differ so much from the fighting traditions of the Zaporizhian Cossacks. This is my first visit to Ukraine. I found here a lot in common with the people of my country. Ukrainians and Japanese are calm, restrained, however, in Seoul they keep many feelings and emotions. I like this quality in Ukrainians. In addition, I was amazed when I learned about the combat Hopak and the Cossacks. This is also a kind of Kengido, the art of combat and performance. Here, as in our shows, respect to our friend and to the viewer is shown. Although we see competition, the battle is first and foremost a demonstration of attention to the audience. Being a samurai in the Ukrainian martial art, I also noticed similar elements of Japanese martial arts. In addition to speaking to a wide audience in one of the capital's art centers, the Shimaguchi Ensemble visited a simple Kiev school. They are children of Chernobyl students. The way in which the persistent immigrants from Pripet and other regions that suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 took the blow of fate is truly amazing for the modern-day samurai. The Chernobyl and Fukushima accidents unite our countries. In Japan, many people know about the tragedy at the Chernobyl station. In 1945, the older generation of Japanese faced the negative impact of the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And in 2011, the devastating tsunami led to an explosion at the nuclear power plant in the Fukushima prefecture. But we must not only show mutual sympathy, but also learn to live on and make joint efforts to survive such tragedies. Every martial art has a certain philosophy, and the main purpose of my journey here is to share the experience that I acquired on my way to the art of Kangido, and also to show that we, Ukrainians and Japanese, can support each other and move forward in life despite such terrible disasters. I have a strong sense that the members of the Kamuri Ensemble have established a special contact with Ukrainians, so I plan to come here every year to please new viewers among the younger and older generation of the Ukrainian people in the public audience.